OLAS really has been focused this year on strengthening the, the work of the practice groups that we have created over the past few years. I think our ability to, to reach more people in more communities across Chicago is, is really profound now. I, I believe that, that we are looked to as leaders. We were asked to be part of working groups. We were asked to be part of uh, leadership meetings within the domestic violence community. You have judges who know us and know our reputation um, or court staff and they may actually refer people that they see in their courtrooms. I've been just blown away by the progress that Legal Aid Society and Metropolitan in particular have, have accomplished over the last 10 plus years that I've been involved in the organization. Uh, the growth within Legal Aid Society in particular is something I'm very proud of. We've gone from approximately 22 lawyers to now over 70 uh, staff within Legal Aid Society, which is just amazing. Um, that just means we can get to more people and help more people and provide legal services to those people in need. I think our ability to be supported by other parts of the agency that allow us to truly wrap services around people um, is very important and we continue to focus on that and certainly we continue to try to work with community partners to be more responsive to the needs of, of Chicagoans. The needs are great in our community and it's really important that those of us in the legal aid community work together and partner to really make a difference in our communities. We couldn't do it alone and having partners who share that vision, who are committed to access to justice is really critical to making a difference in our communities. When some of the new migrant arrivals began coming to Chicago being bused from Texas, LAS ultimately stepped into a dual leadership role. One of those roles is taking money that the city has available to legal aid organizations and being the organization that oversees the distribution of those funds to our partner agencies. And the other role is we provide the direct legal services as well as part of that. So many of our staff are visiting migrant shelters and doing screenings for people for asylum cases and human trafficking cases. And so it's, it's really a, a multi-pronged effort and it really um, brings into focus just how important it is that we have an agency that provides a multitude of services and that we work closely with our community partners. I think the National Immigrant Justice Center has really benefited from collaborating with the Legal Aid Society in terms of being able to reach more people. We each have our areas of expertise and are able to um, serve more people because we exercise those areas of expertise in our legal knowledge to respond to the needs of the community. I would love as many lawyers as possible to be involved in LES in, in so many ways, whether it be providing pro bono services, volunteer services through both LAS and Metropolitan, or even through board service or other kinds of services of our, for example, MLAB board, to continue to help LAS grow and to be able to provide more services to more people around this community. Mm -hmm.